the mountain shake and crumble at your name the oceans roar and tumble at your name the angels will bow the earth will rejoice your people cry
That beat, John, that if he goes to the right, if he goes to the right. Come on up. We're gonna, I'm going to teach you a little. I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, that is a big uh-oh. So come on. Come on up to the front. Don't be scared. But we don't want to do the timid one where we're just like... She knows how to do it because she's a dancer. So let's see. Let's, let's watch she, how she does this. Teach us how to do this. Go to the right. Go to the left thing. Jump! 
don't worship you hard enough until I'm sweating. <laughs> I think I accomplished that. Because I'm definitely sweating. I still smell good. Sorry. Whew, man, I just love to dance and worship. Oh, Lord, there's nothing like it. Brother Joe, you are the man. morning in pre-service prayer, I saw Jesus, I saw him throwing confetti up in the air, and he was just having such a great, like, party, and I knew the Lord was going to release some sort of party atmosphere, man, because there ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. party like it's a Holy Ghost party because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. I'll tell you what, it doesn't stop.
get, let's get caught up in the thought of that we get to worship the Lord for eternity. I mean, imagine what it's like to worship him in heaven. For eternity, we get to worship you, Lord. <laughs> there ain't no death. There ain't no power in hell that's going to stop us or keep us from worshiping Jesus for eternity because death and hell have been defeated and it cannot hold us anymore. Jesus busted out of that grave. He busted into heaven and he busted the enemy's head and he took the keys and he busted back out of hell. And then he busted into heaven and then he busted into our lives with the keys. The keys to eternity, the keys to life. We have the keys to life. We have the keys to eternity. We have open access to the Father's heart. We have open access to enter, to come in, to enter in. So we need to start using this access. We need to start using these keys that he's given us. He went to hell, beat the hell out of hell, came back and gave us the keys, and we're afraid to use them. I ain't afraid to use my keys. I'm coming in to the Holy of Holies to enter, to worship the Lamb. So Lord, bring us in. We activate right now and use our authority and our keys. I use my keys in Jesus' name to life. There's breath coming in your dry bones. Let life overtake you for once, guys. Let it overtake you. Because once you taste it, you'll never want to go back. Never want to go back. And if any of you struggle with the fight between God and flesh, of going back, then you go with God, then you go back, then you go with God, then you go back. I just feel like if any of you struggle with that, if that's a battle you're facing right now, of the back and forth battle, and that the Lord wants to put an end to the back and forth battle. So just receive the keys to life. You don't have to go back and forth because back and forth, you'll just stay in the same place. You'll never move forward. And God wants you to move forward. He's, he's called you to be a movement, not to be a standstill, not to be just, I'm just staying here and I'm not moving forward because I'm, I'm going back and forth fighting the flesh way too much and the old man. But I just feel like the Lord's saying that it's time to put that to a rest and to move forward. It rest. We will rest in peace knowing that he is our peace. He is our joy. He is our life. He is our love. He is everything we need. And Jesus, you are everything we need. We got to have more of you. There is no, there is no place of I'm content. Lord, that if there's a place of content where you are content, that's not a place. That's where the enemy wants to keep you and it's a trap. It may seem good, but it's not good. It's not what God has for you. Contentness, complacency, God is moving you out of that right now. If you'll receive it, if you'll take it. So, Father, we just worship you. So arise, Spirit of God, in this place, Lord.
darkness that's trying to take over this land. There's trying to take over this land from the schools, from the churches, and from every part of government. And I have raised you up to be my warriors. I have taught you how to praise. I have taught you how to worship. I have taught you how not to be afraid, but to trust me. And when you raise your hands and your voices in prayer and praise, mighty things happen in the heavenlies. And the forces of darkness are held back, says the Lord, and you will be my army of praisers and worshipers. You have the armor of God. Wear this every day and praise me and worship me. Do not be afraid when you hear or see the darkness trying to encroach upon you. But praise and worship me, says the Lord, and you will hold this darkness back. Taking ground. Woo!
day and night, night and day, let incense rise. Day and night, night and day, let incense rise. Day and night, night and day, let incense rise. trumpet just play over us.
just jump on in, jump on in, jump on in, jump on in, and enjoy the ride. So jump on in, jump on in, jump on in, and enjoy the ride of your life. It's okay, it's okay if you get a little scared, because you don't know what you're doing. It's okay, it's okay. He says, lift your arms, lift your arms and surrender all. Lift your arms, lift your arms and surrender all. And I will take you places. I will take you places. Your vision is changing. Your outlook is changing. I'm giving you new ears and new eyes to see and hear. He says, listen, listen, listen to that still small voice. Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen, everything's getting cold. Just listen, listen, listen to me. Just listen to me. Just listen. Be still. Be still. Be still and know. Just be still, be still, be still, and know I am God. For I'm with you in the storm. I am with you in the rain. I am with you in your pain. Just be still. Oh, be still. Be still and know. Just be still, just be still, and know I am God, know I am God, know that I am God, know that I am God. I see the weighty presence of his glory. It's like waves, and it's actually pushing us down, and it's pushing the weightiness of his presence, the weightiness of his presence. The only way I can explain it is like a storm front that comes in, and it just, the wind begins to blow, the weightiness. Thank you, God, for your weighty presence of your glory in this house. The atmosphere has changed. Our hearts are changing. Our bodies are rearranging to line up with Jehovah Rapha, the
the healer who walks in this place. The healer. Allow him to have his way. We're not in a hurry. Allow him to have his way. He will stop heaven. He will stop a service. He will stop for one person to be set free and healed. Because it's our Papa God. He will stop. He's got you. And you and you and you and us in his eyes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Peter, uh, if you would, uh, stand where you at. Peter Wagner, you back there? Peter? Very good. All right. Anybody else having issues with, with their hearts? The Lord specifically spoke about that today. And that was the very thing on the heart. Anybody having issues with the heart? Just stand up. Any kind of heart issues? High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Anything having to do with your heart? Um, some of you have broken hearts. Talking about... Uh, just speaking, uh, just your hearts have been broken. Disappointments, things have happened that uh, have just caused your hearts to be broken. Let's go. We'll just give you an opportunity if you're watching by live stream or Facebook, just, uh, or if you catch this later on in the archives, you just receive it just as if you were here, even now. Uh, there's a miracle that the Lord's doing even now in Peter's hearts and the aortas, both in and out. Uh, Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in those areas. We knew about uh, what the doctors said. Anybody else with just specifically uh, having to do with the aortas, uh, the physical heart as well? Uh, you know of somebody also, let's do this. Some of you have had a really heavy heart for someone um, that's really dealing with heart issues or the heart. Let's just catch them all. I know the Lord wants to catch them all here while, he's, while we're just in the areas concerning the heart. Actually, when Pastor Didi had said that, Lord, it just sparked something. He's here to heal broken hearts. He's healed physically and spiritually. Disappointments. Some of you had, have had such disappointments. And some of it's been much of your life. The Lord wants to do a sovereign work in there. Lord, you see those that are standing. You see those, even those that are watching by live stream or Facebook or the archives. Thank you. We just reach our hands out to them even now. And we say, be made whole. Every area of the heart, every area, physical, spiritually, we just release even now, Lord, those places of brokenheartedness. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing even now. We thank you for the wonders you're doing even now. Thank you for the release of those that have been in a place. We pray even now for Perry. Lord, as he is just, uh, Lord, what's going on in him? We just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing even now as you are releasing uh, those that that have been in a place of a sick heart. There's a place where their hearts have been sick because of things that have happened, the injustices and different things. Noel, I want you to pray uh, for these, whatever the heart is, even for the, even for uh, old and young alike. Yes, Lord, I pray for those who have had, like Pastor Dave said, a life of disappointment. Just one thing happening after the next, God, and it's affected their heart deep down. Lord, you're coming even now. Your spirit is here to restore, to rewrite, God, and to renew. Thank you for your Holy Spirit work in those hearts. Pray for those who have pacemakers, Lord, physically in their hearts right now. I thank you that you are... You're controlling their hearts, God, and fixing every part so that those pacemakers are going to be able to be removed. I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Yes. Um, okay, how many of you just had trauma after trauma after trauma, and you just want that off? Just, just stand up where you're at. There's things that have just, 
that when Noel prayed that, it just was like a deep thing even there. Uh, if you're at home, if you're at home, uh, stand up too. Even there, if you're at home, wherever you're at on the streets, if you're watching this out on the streets, or you're in another nation, Allah. Lord, we just thank you that you are delivering them from this assault assignment of trauma. Lord, generationally deliver them from the generational assignments of that trauma that goes from one generation to generation. We thank you, Lord, you're doing a sovereign work right now of cutting off all this, the, this just this horrific, continuous assault, one thing after another, after another, after another, trauma after trauma after tra trauma. Generation to generation, we cut those things off now, Lord. You've redeemed the generations. You've redeemed the line. And we say even now and declare even now, those generation is, generational assignments are cut off. And Lord, whatever the access was, we repent. We ask that you would forgive whatever it is as Hezekiah and Nehemiah had prayed. Lord, forgive those things which had taken place in the previous generations that are affecting me. Lord, thank you for a sovereign work even now. Lord, having and concerning those heartaches one after another after another. We thank you now, Lord, for your deliverance and your healing and your restoration of the things you're doing right now. Thank you, Lord, for your good reports. Lord, we thank you for the reports that are coming back that we're going to have. Lord, even from all over the world, those that are watching by live stream or Facebook Live, all the reports, Lord, of the reports that we're going to hear, Lord, you prophesied it already. David Wagner had prophesied it, Lord. There was going to be a greater increase. We've seen you work your wonders and your miracles, but we thank you for the greater increase of what you're going to do now, Lord. We thank you now. And as we look at what's being shown, it's prophetic. Flying over the canyon, looking down on the valley, and then there's that mountain. Father, we just thank you, give Lord. you the glory. Thank you, Lord. You've created us to soar. You've yes, created Lord. us to soar. Yes, Lord. You've given us wings to soar above the storms. Above the storms. That's who we really are. Yes. You did not create us to get beat up by the storms of life. You created us to soar above and to see them from your perspective. Yes. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 147.3, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. The death of the saints is precious in my sight, not just physically, but fleshly. For both bring you to me, and you are emptied of this world to make more room for me. For I created you with a void that can only be filled with me. And I know it's hard. The cost is great, but the reward is so much greater. And I am answering your prayers, and I am fulfilling our dreams. I am making more and more and more room in you for me. And you are being poured out like Spike Nerd at my feet, just like Mary poured out. But it's you. It's you, which means so much more, so much more. You have poured out your heart like water before me, just like David. You are the most precious gift that you can give me is you. It's you, and I am coming, beloved, to overtake you, for you are completely mine. Beloved, wholeness and complete integrated. I desire that you are whole, complete, lacking in nothing, and fully equipped to love and serve me with joy. It is a kingdom work, my work, that you embrace. I desire that you are fully in body, soul, spirit, mind, will, and emotion, firing on all cylinders fully integrated into me, your loving Savior, your Redeemer. I am the great physician of body and soul, 
so come to me. I desire that your soul be fully alive, open to my will, open to receive my instruction, my purpose for you in this hour. If you will but offer to me, offer your heart, mind, and soul to me, then I will make perfect any weakness in you, whether real or perceived. For when you are weak, I am strong. I love you dearly. Receive my love and gifts for you today. Okay, so if that fits, do it. Okay? Lord, you know, the Lord it just says, it had an earlier word too about the Lord was just bringing his, his keys to the places that hell has been reigning in in our lives. And he's given us the keys to unlock the Lord in those areas that we've allowed the enemy access to. Take the, let him let him move his keys in you. Let him, let him just open up those areas right now that he wants to open up. And some wonder about my move. They wonder about the move of God. They wonder if they will just stay in their stance. They wonder if they will even step back. And the Lord says, you won't miss a thing. You won't miss a thing. And, and even some, they're in your chair and you're in your rocking chair. And, and I've been in this place for a long time. And, and I don't know if I can move and I don't know if I will move. And the Lord says, I am coaching you. I am coaching you out of that chair. You will arise. You will move. You won't miss a thing. So be it. So be it. So be it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.